Hello, dragons. My name's Henry Clayton, and this is my grandson, Ben. He's going to be my assistant for today. And I'm pitching for £30,000 for a 20% equity. The company Genry was uh, formed to market my invention, which is the Millimover. This is the device that you can see attached to the bottom of these two chairs. My mum is actually called Millie, that's where the name comes from, and she has got Alzheimer's. Now, one day I was visiting her about two years ago, and we noticed uh, a young care assistant walk along with a lady. She sat the lady down on a chair for a meal with other people, uh, and the lady, unfortunately, couldn't do this. Let me show you. When she sat down, she couldn't do that, to get herself close enough to the table to be comfortable. And the little girl tried to push her, and she hurt her back. So I thought about it, invented the Millie Mover, we got it put into production, and we launched last year, in February. I'd like to show you how the device works, if I may. <clears throat> so if you can imagine I'm a person who can't do what I was just showing you. If I sat here and Ben tried to push me without success. Now, with the Millie Mover, if you notice, he puts his foot there, it lifts the front onto wheels, and he can then push me. It's a very simple idea, but it works. Now, the target markets are care homes, nursing homes, hospitals, day centres, and of course, the hundreds of thousands of people who are being cared for at home, anywhere where somebody can't move themselves on their own chair. Now, um, since February, I've been cold canvas selling on my own. I sold about 800. Now, I need £30,000 to increase our marketing push, to order larger numbers to get better, lower prices for the device, and to uh, get some premises, because we're working from home at the moment. Thank you very much. Thanks for helping me, Ben. You need to go that way. <laughs> Henry is looking for an investment of £30,000 for a 20% stake in his invention, the Millie Mover. Named after his mother, the device aims to help the ill or elderly to pull up close to a table. Shafrazul wants to get straight down to business. Hi Henry, I'm Shaf. I have a, a couple of questions for you. Can you, you, you just said you've sold 800 units. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me the, the cost of the units, what it costs to manufacture and distribute the units? The main bulk of the numbers that we've sold have been priced at around 650 plus tax. Okay. And, and what, they were made in China. How much do you sell them for? Um, £29. You sell them for £29. And you sold 800 of them? Yeah. Um, do you have, are these protected with a patent or anything like that? Yes, we have a, a full UK patent. What are you going to use the 30,000 for exactly? Um, well, we estimated it would be around about 10k for um, advertising and exhibition presence. You don't have a distributor then? No. No? Is there any reason why you haven't got a distributor? Um, well, we've, we decided that we wanted to uh, expand the sales and, and do that by keeping the price as affordable as possible. Um, but you've got, a, you've got a huge margin on this. Well, yeah. yes, but uh, obviously there are other expenses. Just the product cost is, um, uh, you know, not just the, is not the, the biggest consideration. There are other, are there other costs involved, of course. So, uh, Can you just run through them with me? Um, well, uh, getting patents um, is a, you know, can be an expensive business. If I could explain that we have spent money on... A US application for a US patent, which is pending. Not a great start for Henry, who's struggling in the face of the most basic questions about the business. Julie Meyer has more fundamental problems with the application of his invention. Henry, hi, I'm Julie. Hi, Julie. I think I might be missing something here, but if you have Alzheimer's, if you're an elderly person, don't you find yourself in a wheelchair? Well, um, somebody who is in a wheelchair and they're permanently in the wheelchair, of course, wouldn't need this device. But the majority of people that 
uh, have dementia and the majority of people that have learning difficulties are ambulant, you know, walk, ab and walk about. And so that's who it's aimed at. Um, having said that, we have had quite a number of people <clears throat> who have uh, obtained these devices purely to get a person who's in a wheelchair that can sort of move about a bit uh, out of the wheelchair at mealtimes because the people don't like, the, the, the resident doesn't like being in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. The relatives don't like them being in a wheelchair because it's not very convenient and they like to be in the chair like the others. But the, the proportion of people in wheelchairs is quite small compared to the people who are ambulant. So really this is for those, <coughs> this is for in-house, small movements. I, I guess, Henry, I'm just struggling to see okay, what the big, it, the pain point is. I don't get it. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe I haven't explained it properly. Um, I think it's clever, but I just don't see this being a big, big problem. The most common word I hear when somebody pushes usually me in the chair who's in the industry, they say, wow. But it really is that bigger an issue. Henry seems to be getting frustrated with Julie Meyer, who hasn't really taken to his invention. Will he fare any better with Shafrazul, who wants to get down to the all-important numbers? How much have you invested in the business so far? Um, personally, I've put in £33,000. What's the balance sheet of the business like today? Um, at the moment, uh, first year was 23k turnover, uh -huh. uh, 15 grand gross, uh, minus 29,000 net. So the balance sheet is minus 29,000? Yeah. Okay. So effectively, any investment would just be shoring up the balance sheet, is that right? Uh, well, we're not expecting to um, put our, the money we've put in, we're not expecting that to be accounted. I'm sorry, I don't follow if you could... Um, well, the company doesn't owe any money. OK. OK. Um, it sort of owes us the money, but we're not expecting that to come out of the £30,000, no. So why haven't you approached a bank with this? Why haven't you gone to a bank and said... Well, well uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's not just the money we need. Well, of course. Uh, we need um, a business acumen, which, of course, Dragons can provide. Um, expert advice. I mean, that, that's really... The bank doesn't provide that to the same level that uh, a dragon does, of course. OK. I mean, I, I'm just looking at this and, um, essentially, I know how to, to, to monetize this business. OK, but in all honesty, I would want more than 20% for my £30,000. Really? Mm -hmm. OK. Um, that's what it boils down to. So you're interested? Potentially. So can I ask you what you're... Have you any contacts or experience in, in the care side of...? of... No, I, I don't have, but I've got lots of contacts and experience in distribution. Right. Distribution, manufacturing, storage... Excellent. ..logistics, all that, all that sort of stuff. In a sudden turnaround, Shaf Razul has expressed an interest in the Millie Mover and thinks he can use his distribution contacts to get the product to market. But Henry has more questions to answer if he's to leave the den with the £30,000 he came for. 